Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about the wig items that I cannot live without. These are things that I either use every single day or they're things that I just find necessary to have around for the times in which I need them. A fine tooth comb. Now you might be surprised by this. A lot of wig wearers say, do not use fine tooth combs. And I 100% agree with them, except for when I'm refreshing my wigs. Now I have created another video on this and it's when I use the fine tooth comb and a hair straightener to put heat back into my wig. I swear by this technique, I've been using it for years. It was kind of like my secret before creating this channel, before creating that video, that that is how I keep my wigs for years and years and years. The ones that are heat friendly. The ones that are heat friendly, this is the technique I use on them after washing them properly. And I do need the fine tooth comb because it helps me separate the fibers. And when bringing the straightener over top of it, it helps me get every single fiber to make it beautiful and bring the shine back, bring the luster back and just make your wig look brand new. So if you wanna see that video, check it out. A fine tooth comb I definitely find necessary. Not only that, but technically it's also called a rat tail comb and that's because of this on the end. You can part your wig easily by just taking it and then flipping it over. I don't wanna do that today though, um, but you know, this comb comes in handy all the time and it's cheap. So just to have it lying around is great. The next item on my list is, yes, you probably guessed it, but the wide tooth comb. This is really good for your synthetic fibers. You need one of these. I always have one in my purse if I'm going out somewhere, especially if I have a longer wig that I know is going to be tangling. There's lots of wind hitting my wigs all the time and they can tend to become matted. So this really really helps i have a couple of these all over the house the next one is a wig grip <laughs> you can get a wig grip from anywhere guys this is the one that i wear all the time the one that i really like it's just a velcro back um it sits on your head just like this right at the front of the wig and then you obviously under your cap right <laughs> it's not going to do anything sitting on top of a wig but yeah this goes under your wig and the trick is you have to put it on a certain way so with this wig grip it actually says the words wig grip on it and that you just want facing forward that's how you know you have it on right and you can also just feel it if you run your finger back which is the way that your wig could potentially fall off by you know moving backwards when you feel I'm having such a hard time explaining this, I don't know why. When you run your finger this way, if it feels rough, you have it on the right way. If you flip it around, it's going to be soft and that's not going to help you because your wig can just slide back, right? This is to prevent your wig from sliding back. And I don't wear this with every wig, guys. Like this wig, I'm not wearing a wig grip because it's hand tied and frankly, it's fits my head perfectly so like I don't need a wig grip but for my larger wigs that will move around on my head because I have a petite head circumference I always wear a wig grip and I always feel really secure and I prefer the glueless looks so wig grips yes absolutely yes the next one is a bunch of clips I think clips that are slim and flat like this are perfect for styling your hair while on a mannequin head. I really do style my wigs all the time. It's fun for me. My wedding's coming up. I'm actually doing my own hair for the wedding. I have to put her on the mannequin head and then I have to use my clips to section off pieces so that I can either go through with a straightener or a curler or whatever I'm doing. And these are just handy for like everything, you know? Now, are these something I would wear outside in my hair? No, they're not like that type of stylish clip. It's not meant for that. It's purely meant to be flat and easy to slide up in there, clip away so that you can style. So if you like to style things like I do, 100%, just get yourself some cheap clips off Amazon. Again, I'll have these down in the description. With that being said, I am also a big believer of getting a mannequin head and then a mount. I'm gonna go grab mine so I can actually show you. This is the mannequin head I have. I have it in 21 circumference. 
for up here. And this is really important to me because this is the size of my head. So if ever I'm styling a wig or I'm just putting a wig on the mannequin head to refresh her, like I said, with the straightener, right? I want to make sure that the mannequin head is not too big. I guess it's technically called a canvas block. But if this was like, let's say 23, there is the potential that it could stretch out my caps when my head is only 21. So when you're buying one of these, like if you were to check the description for my links, you'll find these, but please make sure you're getting one in your own circumference, either your own or a smaller one. I would definitely say like, don't purchase a bigger one because you might stretch out your cap and you don't want to do that. My canvas block mannequin head also came with this mount. So you just stick it on there and then you can put this on a table, coffee table, where kitchen table, counter, wherever. And then you just go like this, it tightens it. And then this is not going anywhere. It's really secure. I love it a lot. This allows me to secure it to my coffee table. That's what I normally do when I'm refreshing a wig or styling it. And it allows me to just sit there and watch TV because sometimes you want to be occupied while doing mundane things. Like if you're trying to curl a wig, you don't need a lot of brain power for it. You're just kind of doing your thing. And it's kind of nice to just have this there secure. You get to sit down and watch TV while you're doing it. Simply styling, styling light silk spray and i use this especially for the nape of my neck as well as i like to put shine back into my synthetic wigs when i need to this might sound strange to some people because i know that a complaint about some synthetic wigs is that they're too shiny sometimes well Yes, sometimes they are. And in those cases, no, I would not use this on it. But if you've had a wig for a really long time, like I have wigs that are still alive, still looking amazing, but I've had them for like two plus years, sometimes four years. The shine kind of dies down. And I just find that even with like healthy human hair on my own human hair, or when I had nice human hair, even my sister's hair, my mom's hair on their natural bio hair, they too also use a shine spray before they go in with a straighter and see I grew up in a household where a lot of my family was really involved with hair actually growing up I worked at a hair salon so like I learned kind of like all these things and professionally when you're doing hair you do put some shine back into a person's hair to make it look really healthy and beautiful and so that's sort of what I use this for but I don't overdo it so please don't think that I'm like getting a wig and then spraying this all over the place. That's not what I'm doing. This just helps to bring life back into your wigs. It's a pure silicone spray. It is for synthetic wigs. This is something just really nice to have on hand. It brings the luster back. It puts some shine back into it. Don't overdo it or you put too much shine. If you do have a wig that's too shiny, just use some like dry shampoo. That might fix it up. Um, but yeah, I would suggest just having this on hand you'll know when you need to use it and then it'll just be nice to have it the other thing that i use all the time which you probably don't even have to buy because you probably already have it in your house but is fabric softener i have been washing my wigs a certain way for years like forever and using fabric softener to put the softness back into a wig before I hang dry is like night and day difference to me. I know that this is like people either hate this idea or they love this idea. I don't know what other people are doing or why maybe people have had a bad experience, but I've never had a bad experience with fabric softener. So I mean, this is my video, so I kind of want to be honest and tell you what I do actually use. And I do actually use fabric softener every single time after I wash my wig. And then to wash my wig for the cleansing portion, especially to get makeup off the lace, guys. And if you've seen my how to wash your wig video that I'll put up above here and down below in the description, how to wash your wig properly, this is the same soap that I use and it's called Dr. Bronner's liquid castell soap it's a really clean soap takes off all the dirt off my wigs the makeup just runs off the lace so easily i don't have to sit there and scrub it um if i've glued a wig i don't have to sit there and rub off the glue because that that can wreck your lace if you don't go easy on the knots where the fiber or the human hair has been tied into your cap 
you can actually accidentally remove some knots, remove some hair. It just removes everything that is not supposed to be there. I swear by it. I use it for everything. I even use it on my own body. Like, you know, and they come in different smells. There's like lavender. There's unscented. Of course, you don't have to get one with a scent. There's also citrus and I go back and forth. I have the citrus one right now. It smells really good. They also have peppermint. So that is also something I use. Again, I just have to be honest. What is more thought of as appropriate for a synthetic wig are these products by John Renault. And these work just as fine too. Like I have used these too. Um, the number one, Cleanse by John Renault. There's also, let me find it here. Where is number two? Do I not have a number two? Nope, I'm out. Well, number two was Condition, I believe. And these products you can buy in a pack. One of the products that I swear by as well is the Maintain. And I love it so much that, yes, I have it in a small size, but I also have it in a gigantic size because I use Maintain all the time, especially on the nape of my neck and especially on my longer synthetic wigs that need help. Like let's say I've worn it for a 12 hour day. I had a really long day and it's just getting like a little matted and now I've brought it home and I wanna put it on my mannequin head or tuck it back into a box for storage. I always spray it first on the ends and the nape and then I'll run my wide tooth comb, where is it? My wide tooth comb through it and it just, saves the fibers, makes it smooth again, and you know, that's great. I love that. John Renault also has a finish spray, and this is sort of like a spray gel for synthetic fibers, so you can spray your wigs and it's not supposed to like damage the fiber or anything like that. I like it, I have used it. I also use just normal hairspray. I really do. I find it to be just fine. These are the things that I would tell my very best friend or even my family. And so I know that there's like a little bit of controversy around like some of these things I'm saying, but I hope you guys just take it for what it is and just realize that this is just my experience. It's just my perspective. If you're doing something a totally different way than how I do it, that is amazing. And I'm so happy that you found a way that works for you. So the other thing that I use are these pins. Now I use these pins to pin my wigs to my block canvas so that they don't move when I'm styling them. That is so important. I don't know why it took me so long to get these. I didn't get these at the beginning when I got this, when I first started styling. And, and I don't know why I didn't do that because my wigs used to like fall off the block head and I used to just get so frustrated. Obviously, I knew that there's such thing as pins. I just never got them. I never took the time to go to Amazon to pick them up. So I have all of these listed down below in the description for you guys for your convenience. I do hope you check it out. And if you'd like to learn how I like to wash my wigs or put heat back into my wigs to make them look brand new and luxurious again, I really hope that you'll check out these videos next. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.